Hi, the title of this video is not a clickbait. Why? One, I use this machine every day and I've been looping for 15 years now. Two, two years ago when Boss released this machine, I released a video where I just totally roasted Boss for releasing this machine with so many software issues. Basically, I did a review just like this one, except two years ago, this review was me talking about this machine saying that it was garbage. What happened was that Boss saw my video, they messaged me and we started working together on trying to find ways to fix the software issues that were on the loop station. So we worked together hand in hand and they came up with an update that fixed a lot of problems on the loop station. And since then they released two other updates. And if you want a third reason, um, Looping is my job, and this is what I do. So, what you just heard was me looping with this loop station and simply a microphone. So, if you're watching this video and you want to use this loop station with other instruments, you can relate to what I'm going to say in the video, but just to let you know, I only use my loop station with a microphone and that's it. Let's see what's inside. Basically, all you have is the loop station with its power supply and uh, a manual. There you go, beautiful. Before we are going to review this machine, I just want to let you know that I am not a specs guy. I don't wanna go through the whole characteristics of this machine. If you wanna see numbers and all the details about what the machine can do in terms of sound, in terms of I don't know what, um, you can go on Boss's website and you have all the info related to this. So I'm assuming that if you are watching this video, Either you are thinking of purchasing a RC505 or you just purchased one and you want to have some more information about the machine. In this video, I will tell you why I use this machine, what I like about it, and I will show you some cool features. All right, before we get started, let's just take a closer look at the machine. So first, let's look at the back. You can see here we have the power on off power supply, the USB uh, port. The MIDI port to put MIDI cables and connect it with other instruments or you can connect it with another loop station if you want. For example, to sync BPM. If you're looping with another looper, you can sync BPM together. Here on this side, you can see that you can connect two microphones and you can also insert two different instruments in stereo. So you can insert one instrument here, one instrument here. This port right here uh, can be used for control pedals, for example. This is for your headphones. And these six here are the outputs. So you can have normal uh, stereo left, right, right here. You can only go in mono if you want, just put it inside here. But if you don't wanna go simply in just stereo or even in mono, you can have a multi output where you can just basically have three different stereo output channels. Now for the top part, it will only make sense, I guess, if I turn it on and I show you directly the features. Oh yeah, just one thing. Um, wait a second. This machine is pretty fragile, right? If you are considering traveling and just bringing your loop station with you, I advise taking care of it and using maybe one of these. So this is like a normal case, but it's kind of heavy and not really convenient. So instead, what I would suggest, and this is not sponsored, as I said, I have a particular relationship with Boss, but what I would suggest is one of these because this is convenient. This is like super, super thick inside and really made for your loop station because Boss made it for the Mark II specifically. So yeah, it fits just right inside and you even have like another space where you can put your laptop inside. So yeah, really cool bag. Um, thank you boss for sending me this. Not sponsored, but I did help them out with the update. And so uh, yeah, they sent me some gear. So thank you. 
Okay, so in most review videos, the camera is going to be above the machine so that you can see what's going on on the screen, especially. I think, personally, this is not so important for this review video. This is why I'm shooting this video so that you can both see the loop station and me, how I use the machine, how I use um, the microphone and my voice, and at the same time, simultaneously press the buttons on the loop station. For the features, I don't think it's really important that you see the screen because I essentially want to show you the features and not show you in detail how to do these things. Okay, if you are totally new to this and you've never seen a loop station being used, well, the main thing you are concerned with is recording sounds and, you know, looping them so that they just play on and on. Basically, you can see we have one, two, three, four, five tracks that you can use to loop your sounds. On each one of these five tracks, you can put an infinite amount of sounds. So yeah, the basic function of the loop station is to loop, 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 loop. Now, loop, loop. loop as I said, on each loop, track, you can put loop, as many loop, sounds as you want, loop, like this. Loop, 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 loop. Loop, 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 loop. You get the point. So just to quickly explain the main functions of each track, you have record, 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 overdub, record, overdub, record, overdub, record, overdub, just stop and play, record, record, overdub, record, overdub. You can also undo the last thing that you recorded. So look. Record, overdub, record, overdub, record, 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 and then put it back record, again. Record, record, overdub, record, overdub, record, overdub. You can also put tracks in reverse, like eh, 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 eh. You can also put them in one shot if you want. Eh, 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 eh. Okay, I'm going to talk to you about the features that I like and that I think are really important on the RC505 Mark II. First of all, what I really like about this machine is the effects. There are so many possibilities. You can craft your own effects. You can combine four effects together to create some unique sounds, unique textures. For example, let's say this one. I have this first effect. Let's just add a second one. Let's try it with another combination. So note that I'm talking about effects that will go straight on your voice, right? I'm really only doing uh, and then adding the effects, right? Uh, but note that everything that I'm saying about input effects, which are basically effects that goes through the microphone is also true for track effects which are effects that you can simply you know record here and you apply effects on the on the tracks okay so you can use effects in input and use effects and output. What you can do with this machine also is you can choose which effect is applied to which track. Basically, if let's say I have this track running. I have a beat and I have a melody. The beat and the melody. Okay? You can choose to put one effect on the beat 
and to put one effect on the melody, different effects. So I want to put the filter on the beat, transpose on the melody, it sounds like this. If I put the effect, it sounds like this. So my beat goes from this to this. And my melody changes like this. So this is really, really useful because you can choose on four different tracks to put four different kind of effects. I personally use this a lot when I record my drums, for example. Let's say I have my kick, my hi-hat, my snare. I like to apply different EQs, uh, different reverbs on each sound, but you can use it for so many different reasons. I showed you earlier on certain effects combinations. A really popular effect is called the oscillator bot. Let's call it the os bot. It is basically a synth that you trigger with your voice. You select the note, the kind of texture that you want, and then you just use your voice by going, for example, ah. Uh demonstration now what is really cool with this machine is that certain effects have sequencers where basically in the case of the os bot you can prepare a sequence of different notes following each other as i said i'm not going to go too deep and show you how to do it but I'm letting you know that it's possible. If I go in depth with each function, it's gonna be a two hours video and I don't want this. So let me show you what I mean by a sequencer on the Ozbot. I'll go from just one note to the sequencer that I already set up. So here I had a sequence of two notes going back and forth. You can go up to 16 notes, okay? And you can choose the rate at which you are going. So the sequencer works with many different effects. So as I said, as I showed you before, you can combine different effects to work together, but you can combine different Ozbots, for example. You can combine different transpose effects. You can, diff you can combine different reverbs. Let me show you with three different Ozbots and then a reverb at the end of the chain. Another really great feature of this machine is the different banks of effects that you can use. So I told you there are a lot of effects on this machine. There are over 50 effects. And you also have different combinations of effects, whether you use two effects, three effects, or four effects together. But what happens if I'm using four effects just like this? And I want to go immediately right after this to, let's say, four other effects. Well, fortunately, you can do that very, very easily because you have effects A, B, C, and D. But you also have banks of effects. So bank A, B, C, or D. So basically, you have four banks of four effects. So you can already set up 16 effects before you even start performing your song. And then you can, you know, go between sets, four sets of four effects whenever you want. So this is how I go from four effects to four different effects, just by going uh, from C to D. Check this out. So this is true for input effects, but it is also true for output effects, for track effects. So for example, just going from one bank to the other, just like that. Now, what I also like in this machine 
are the assigns. Now you may ask, what are assigns? Let's say that you used up all your effects in all of your banks. Let's say the input effects. You have used four times four effects, but you still want to use a little bit more. You may think that you would have to change the effects manually. Well, yes, that is a solution, but not the most convenient. But if you know what assigns are, well, by simply one press of a button, you can totally change your effects. In this example, I'm going to show you that by pressing this button, which has absolutely nothing to do with changing effects, it's the track button of track one. So it's it's a button that is used to enter the, the track menu, okay? So nothing to do with changing effects. But I assigned this button to change the effects that I'm currently using. So I go from these effects to other effects and by pressing it again I can go to even other effects. Just listen carefully. Uh. Basically, what happened is that I went from these effects, these ones right here, and it brought me to a bass because in my track at some point I want to use a bass, so I use this assign function to go from the effects I'm using to a bass uh, effect, and then I press the same button and I go to my vocal um, effects, so with some auto tune, some EQ, and some reverb. Now. This was just an example of what you can do with assigns, but you can customize your loop station so that, I don't know, for example, by pressing this button here, you are going to uh, enable dubbing or overdubbing of a track and at the same time changing effects and maybe, you know, slowing down the tempo, for example. There's a lot of possibilities with assigns. Now, this was just an example, but you can do much more with assigns. Assigns are here to make your life easier when you are performing a song. The only thing with assigns is that you have to set them up beforehand. It can be a little tricky if you've never done it before. So I'll just link uh, a video in the description, which is a looper called Mr. Isuo. He made this video to show you how to set up assigns and what you can use assigns for. I will also put a link to the Osbots effect I was talking about earlier on that it could be useful because it is a really, really great effect on this machine. Um, so I'll just put a link of another looper called Robin who did a uh, tutorial about the Ospa. Now, let's move on to my favorite feature of this machine. And this is the bounce feature. I use this feature in all of my songs. Basically, this feature allows you to record what is on one track to another. Let me show you how it works. Yeah, 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 yeah. What I did is pretty useless because I went from one track to the other with exactly the same sound, right? What I like to do is have different elements and put them together just like this. So, as you have seen, I took all the tracks I had here and I recorded them on this track, basically. So, what is great is that I recorded my snare right here and I recorded my kick right here. Now, the good thing is that with the track effects, I applied some EQ and some dynamics effect on my kick. And then on my snare, I applied an EQ and uh, an effect called a step slicer, which allows me to make my snare shorter, right? Nice and crisp. And what I did is that, in addition to these two sounds that I EQ'd with my track effects, I also had a uh, open hat right here and a closed hat right here. And all of these elements 
with the mixing part, I bounce them onto one single track. Now, this is a great feature because what you can do is record something, uh, apply effects on it, and bounce it on another track, on an existing track. And then delete it so that you can have space for other elements to put later in your song, right? So, as you have seen, I had my drums, I bounced them here, and then I had my melody, I mean my just, my eh, <laughs> I put effects on it, and I recorded everything on this one track. So now I have those really clean and mixed sounds like I wanted them to be on one single track and I can focus on recording the rest of my song with four free tracks. Okay, I'll bring you up close for this one because what I'm going to explain uh, needs also some visual attention. So you can see we have four buttons right here. These buttons are great because basically you can assign them to whatever you want. As you can see, um, I assign them to be mic level, memory, input true, and bounce. Basically, these four buttons are shortcuts, allowing you to, you know, quickly by switching the button to go from one feature to the other. For example, you can see here that the bounce feature, I have it on on. So now if I want to record something, day, 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 I can bounce it. If I turn off the bounce feature, check this out. It doesn't record anything. If I did not have this shortcut button right here, I would have to go in the loop menu and, you know, uh, turn on bounce manually each time, which would make me lose time. The thing is, when you make a song, you don't want to lose too much time, right? You want to really jump from one feature to the other so that your track is dynamic. So these four buttons are really important. I will not say they are vital they are essential to your looping when you're making a song but they are really important especially if it's for example the bounce feature i use it in all of my tracks so it makes sense for me to put a bounce feature shortcut if you have something that is really special for you that you have in all of your tracks that you can make a shortcut for it would be smart to put this shortcut rather than the bounce feature for example this is just really personal I could go on and on, talk about different features, but I think these are really the main ones. What I would also suggest, if you are new to this and you want to make music like me, for example, the way I use the machine, is simply go on YouTube and look at Boss RC505 Mark II tutorial. And you will find so many tutorials on how to make different songs. Now, I know this is not the most original way to start making music because you will be doing songs that other people have done before. But it's really precious in terms of learning new techniques. Even if you don't like the song that is being shown to you, maybe you might like the techniques that are being used and you can use those techniques for your own songs. So yeah, I could really go deeper in detailing each one of the functions that I've showed you and even show you more functions. But I'll just conclude by saying that, yes, this machine is worth its price. I'm finally happy with the latest updates. I don't have any major problems with it, although I would say go easy on it because when I'm performing live and, you know, where I'm really doing intense loop sessions, sometimes I press a little bit hard on it. I put down and up the faders kind of in a wild way. And that is the major problem with the machine is that it's really fragile. It's, it's totally made out of plastic. So yeah, go easy on it. As I said, I'm putting links to other YouTube videos that I find interesting um, in explaining how to use the machine. And if you find this video was useful, you can just leave a thumbs up. Yeah, that's cool. Thank you. And yeah, if you want to buy this machine, there's a website that I really trust. I've been using this website for over 10 years now to buy my gear. It's called Thoman. I do have an affiliate link. So yeah, if you want to use the affiliate link that I'm putting down below, I would really appreciate it. It will not cost you more. It will just give me like 3% of your purchase and it will really support me and help me a lot. So I'd be grateful for that. All right, guys, I hope, I really hope this was useful. Um, I really do. And um, yeah, if you had any doubts about buying this machine, 
it is worth its price and I do recommend going for it. So yeah, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.